One of the best ways to keep your silver tarnish free is to actually use it often. That said, I really don't feel comfortable eating my TV dinner on a Tuesday night with silver plated cutlery. When it comes time for Thanksgiving, usually my silver looks something like this. And in a mad dash to get it polished before my parents come over, I discovered this amazing trick and I'm going to share it with you now. Silver can be spectacular, but tarnish is terrible. How does silver get tarnished? Why well, I thought you'd never ask. So tarnish is caused when silver comes into contact with hydrogen sulfide in its environment. Foods like mustard, mayo, and onions actually contain quite a bit of sulfur, so you really want to keep them away from your silver if you don't want it to tarnish faster. Rubber gloves can also make your silver tarnish. Today I'm going to show you how to make a silver dip. It's basically an electrochemical bath that will remove the tarnish almost immediately from your silver. And this isn't just for silver cutlery, you can also do it with your jewelry if you're in a rush to get out the door. Basically what we're starting with is a glass dish. Avoid stainless steel, unfortunately silver and stainless steel don't get along very well. And then you want to line it with aluminum foil. Aluminum foil is essential to the success here, don't try to use plastic wrap. Into this dish, you'll be adding two tablespoons of baking soda. And finally, into the dish, you're gonna pour a pot of hot water, enough to cover whatever silver you're going to be putting in it. Hot water will just make it go faster. You could actually use cold water, but it's not nearly as effective. And now, we place our silver items into the bath. Now, it's really important that the silver actually be touching the tin foil. That's essential to the success of this experiment. So the aluminum foil actually attracts the tarnish by transferring the sulfur atoms from the silver to the aluminum. Now, if your tarnish is bad enough, you can actually see the black on the aluminum when the experiment is finished. Pretty cool. Okay, so we've allowed 10 minutes to elapse and have a look at the results. What a difference. I love this trick. And if you have something that's even more tarnished, you can leave it in for just a little while longer and it will do all the work for you. And that's what domestic heat is really all about. Do you have a household tip everyone should know? Share it in the comment section below. I'm Sarah Lynn and you're watching The Domestic Geek on Coral. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time. Sayonara! <laughs>